Hello and welcome back to my map and boss guide series. Today we have Labyrinth. The Labyrinth uh, tile set is based on the Hedge Maze in Act 3. Um, a zone that not a whole lot of people go through because it's a completely optional side boss or side zone uh, for a quest that really doesn't give you a whole lot. doesn't give you skill points so most people ignore it. Uh, as you can imagine from the name Labyrinth, um, it's a labyrinth. Uh, it's hard to find anything in this map. Uh, you'll get these statues, which are, um, like I've said about many maps, they're the innate mobs on the tile set. Uh, so you'll always have them, no matter what spawn. Uh, but you'll often get the birds and the porcupines. Uh, just pretty annoying mobs. You can even get devourers. Um, and in addition to just the horrendously uh, complicated layout for this map, uh, to just kind of clear... Uh, the boss is um, the boss is fairly difficult, and there's a lot of misconceptions about the boss, um, and we'll we'll get into that when we actually find uh, wherever this boss may be. In general, it's a uh, it's along one of the walls, so we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and and <laughs> we're gonna try and get to the the outer edge of the uh, the map. But as you can see, we just kind of got cut off from the the outer edge on that side, so we gotta go up and around. Oh, and I jumped into a wall. Alright, let's get to the bottom of this. Try and find the, uh... You can, uh, you can imagine trying to actually clear this map uh, is a huge headache. There's a lot of little inner rooms that have have mobs and outer rooms and uh, it's pretty it's pretty hard to keep um, to clear everything efficiently uh, it's a 72 map so it may be you know you're limiting uh, your limiting gateway into higher maps um, you'll know you found the boss room we have this arch and these stairs now <clears throat> the boss is um, called solid Zang. He is a uh, he's one of those suppressing fire birds, but the important thing to know about him is uh, he does almost entirely physical damage. He just does a lot of it. Um, when he consumes corpses, he launches that EK. Uh, you see that big burst of, of ethereal knives? Uh, that's a version of EK and it does entirely physical damage. Don't let people tell you it's chaos. I'm tanking this with Immortal Call up entirely. I'm taking no damage as long as I have Immortal Call. It does not do anything except physical damage. My Immortal Call is down, I take damage. My Immortal Call is up, I don't take damage. He only does that spell when he consumes the corpses, uh, and he spawns more and more devourers as you let him live. But there's, there's a big misconception that he does uh, some sort of, you know, um, chaos damage, um, it's it's um, a physical spell just like EK, just like the spell EK that players have. Uh, the devourers make this fairly dangerous, um, but if you have a manual immortal call set up where you can permanently have a mortal call up, like I do right now, you will not take any damage from this boss. You may take some fire damage from the devourers, but you won't take any damage from the boss himself. The boss is entirely physical. I'm demonstrating that right now. I'm taking no damage when I don't when I have a mortal call up um, from the boss. I'm taking some from the devourers. Uh, you can, if you have some automated way of destroying the corpses, uh, you can kill this boss without a, without him doing that ability. If you pull him out of the center area, you can kill him without doing that ability. But the easiest way to deal with this boss is simply have a long immortal call. You take no damage from a ZK. And I, I know I'm emphasizing this, I'm repeating it, that's because there's tons of misconceptions about this. There are people who've been playing for years that don't understand that it's just physical. It's just physical damage. That's all he does. So. Uh, and he, he does that move, he charges it by consuming corpses. If there aren't corpses to consume, he won't do it. 
Uh, if you have single target, you can come in here and just kill him very quickly. But uh, it's he's really not that difficult when you you have uh, phys physical immunity. So we're gonna let our immunity drop, and we're gonna see. He chunks me fairly uh, when he consumes corpses. That took me to half. That was well over 2k. Um, but when I, you know, so focus on your mortal call on here, guys. It's uh, this boss is not as as mysterious as people tend to think he is. Um, as long as you know what you're doing. Uh, one of the hardest parts though is as he devours corpses, he regains health. So you need to make sure you focus some damage in on him uh, when you do want to kill him. But that's Labyrinth, and thanks for watching.